So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss the Geeks for Geeks problem, maximum minimum height. This is a hard problem, but yes, we will make it easy. So you have a garden with n flowers lined up in a row. The height of the ith flower is a units. You will water them for k days. And one day, you can water the blue continuous flower. You can do this only once in a single day. Whenever you water a flower, it heights increase by one unit. You need to maximize the height of the smallest flower all the time. Let's make the explanation easier. So here is a, a test case one that I've taken. So n is equal to 5, k is equal to 2, w is equal to 3, array is given like that. That is the height of the flower initially. Okay, so n is the size of the array as you know, and k is the maximum number of times consecutive set of flower incremented. So let's see the example. You will understand easily. So let's say I have an array of size 5. Uh, 2, 2, 2. Basically, it is of 6. Okay, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can see here that uh, initially height of flowers are given like that. Now what they are saying? They are saying like W is equal to 3. That means, uh, for example, K is equal to 2. So two operations are now. W is equal to 3. So we have to maximize the minimum height of the flower. So we can see, what is the minimum here? 1. 1 is the minimum. So we can say that this one, this one, height should be incremented. So since they are saying we have to take 3. So we can't take ahead. So we have to take these 3. Okay, so we will make the uh, initially k is equal to 2. So we will increment the height by 1. So uh, this is the height 1. So we will make it 2, 2 and 3. Since w was 3 now, so we have to maximize the minimum height of the flower. So 1, 1, we have to take this uh, this as well. Either it is maximum, doesn't matter. So k becomes the 1. One operation we have taken. Now next time we can see the 2 is the minimum. 2 is minimum. Okay, so now here comes it. Like if I take these two, if I have this L like this. So if I take uh, these three, so this will become four, this will become three, this will become three. But we have to maximize the height of the flower as maximum as we can. So we are incrementing three. Rather, we should do, what we should do? We should increment these height of flower. Okay. Minimum height of the flower. We have to maximize minimum. If we getting minimum, okay. So first discuss the intuition so as to get to the approach easily. So let's say I have four operations allowed and I can uh, uh, at max uh, consecutively uh, increase the height of the flower. Okay. So here, let us consider like a uh, linear search type. Okay. So let's take like I want to make the all the flowers to reach one okay so to make this reach one no operation allowed to make this reach one no operation allowed to make this reach one no operations allowed because what already two no need zero no operation allowed no operation allowed so as total zero operations are allowed so zero is less than is equal to four so this one is right okay let's take two now if i increment the height of the flower by 2. So this, so 1 will be changed to 2. 1 will change to 2. So we have to increment. Uh, let's uh, remove this to better understand. So if I increment, uh, since I want 2, since I want 2 now, so what I will say that I can increment the height of the flower by 1. Okay. So, uh, okay. so k is equals to 4. So one operation is deleted. It will become 3 because we have increment the uh, height of the flower by 1. In one operation, we can increment the height of the flower by 1. But it was also given that we can take w is equal to 3. That means if I have taken it as 2, then I can also take this advantage that I can increment these 3 as also by 1. So can these 3 also by 1. So 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So in first operation, this is. Now, in second operation. Now our target was 2. This is done. This is done. This is done. Now this is not done. So we will take this and we can increment the height of the flower by 1. That will fulfill our uh, problem. So it will become 2. But since it was given 3, so I will increment the height of flower by 1. 
3 plus 1, 4. So, 2, 3, 4. So, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, but we need 2. Greater are allowed, equal are allowed, but smaller is not allowed. So, in 2 operation, we have achieved 2. Okay. So, let's go to 3. If my target is 3. If my target is 3. So, K was initially equal to 4. W is equal to 3. So, now target is 3. So, I have to increment this by 2. Okay. So, array, uh, so array will become 3. Now, so operation will become 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 since I have incremented the height of the flower by 2. So, 2 operations are required. In one operation, we can increment it by 1 only. Okay. So, W is equal to 3. That means, if I have incremented this, this, this and this, I can increment these 3. I can take the advantage. Okay. So, plus 2, 3. Plus 2, 4. Okay, so these become 3, 3, 4. So, target is 3, target is 3, target is 3. Now, next 1k. This one require also 2 operation. It will become what? 3. So, I can take this advantage. It will become plus 2, 4. It will become plus 2, 5. Okay, so since we have taken 2 operation, which, will, which can be used in 3, which can be used in 3 array. So, this will become 0. And we have uh, made it 3, 4, 5. So our target is achieved 3, 3, 3. And graders are also allowed. So 3 was also done. Now if I have taken like 4. Okay. So we are checking at max. How many. Uh, how much the minimum height of the flower. We can maximize. Okay. We are checking like that. Okay. Now K is equal to 4 initially. And W is equal to 3. So target is now become. 4. So, we can increment this height by 3. It will be equal to 4. Target is achieved. So, we can take the advantage. This, this and this 3 size can also be incremented by 3. This will become 4. This will become 5. Okay. Now, we can see that this is the target, this is the target, this is the target. Now, we will come here. Now, we can increment this by 3. Now, it will become 4 but we cannot. Why? Initially, we have taken 3 operations, it will become 1. Now, it requires 3 operation, But we have only 1 operation. So, it is not possible. That means, that means 4 was, 4 is not the answer. Target is equal to 3. Is the minimum height of the flower that can be as maximized as possible. This is the minimum height that, that was maximized. Okay. So, uh, this was the question. This was the intuition. So, let's discuss the effort. So, in the approach, we are using the binary search. Linear uh, traversal will require big of n cross n because uh, basically for every target, we are traversing the array every time. So, it will not raise the complexity. So, we can use a binary search which can do in big of n. Okay. Something like that. Since target was 1, was achieved. 2 achieved. 3 achieved. But 4 was not achieved. Similarly, 5, 6, these will also not be achieved. So, we can see this is something like monotonically increasing function. So, we will apply binary search here. So, let's discuss how we will apply. So, initially start is equal to 1, end is equal to 7. End is equal to 7 by taken, I will tell intuition at the end. So, uh, start is equal to 1, so mid will be. Start plus end by 2, that is 1 plus 7 by 2, which is equal to 4. So, let's achieve the target form. So, how will achieve? So, initially array is equal to 1. So, to achieve the target as 1, 1 plus something is equal to 4. That something will be 4 minus 1. So that means I have to increment it 3 times. That means I need 3 operation. So 3 operation it will become 1. Since we can take 3 consecutive sub elements. So we will increment these 3 by 3. So, for, so we can increment this by 3. And this by 3. And as well this by 3. So prefix array with new configuration will become 333 three, three. okay so this will become 3 3 and 3 so now what i will do i will add both 1 plus 3 is equals to 4 now it is equal to 4 achieved 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 achieved 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 which is greater than 4 achieved 
okay so this was something now next time i will go to next index now i can see that this index one requires one plus something is equals to zero plus one plus something prefix plus array plus something is equal to four since i want to achieve four so question mark will be three so i want three operation but three operations are not allowed since I have only remaining with one operation. So it will return false. Target 4 cannot be achieved. So target 4 cannot be achieved. That means 5 cannot be achieved. 6 cannot be achieved. Only minimum can only be achieved. So what we will do? We will uh, uh, subtract high is equals to mid minus 1 as we do in binary set. So end will become 3. So end will become 3. Now and will become 3. What will be the mid? 1 plus 3 by 2, which is equal to 2. So now our target is to achieve 2 within the given operation. So for 1, 0 plus 1 plus question mark is equal to 2. So question mark is equal to 1. That means I have to increment the flower by 1. We can increment by 3. Uh, 3 consecutive sub array. So 1. So 1 plus 1, 2. Achieve. 1 plus 1, 2. Achieve. 2 plus 1, 3, greater than achieve. Now, this operation took 1, so we will have 3 operation. Now, 1 Now one plus 0 plus question mark is equals to 2. So, this requires 1 operation. So, we will increment it by 1. Since we have increment by 1, we can make this 1, make this 1. So, 2 plus 1, 3, right. 3 plus 1, right. We have 2 operation. So, Within the two operation, we have left with two operation also. We have done that as. So since two can be achieved, so we can say three can also be achieved. May be achieved, may not be achieved. This is a binary search. So start is equal to mid plus one. That is mid was two. Two plus one, that is three. And end is equal to three. So we will check our mid will be equal to three. Now we can see one plus zero is less than target. That is three. So we require two operation. Since we require two operation, two flower are incremented here. So three, these three array can also increment by two. Okay. So this will become three. So operation will be left with two only because two operation are taken. Okay. Okay. Four. All are achieved because we require target three, four, three. All right. Now we will require this. One plus zero is less than three. How much? By two. So we will increment by 2. Operation will become 0. Since it is plus 2, it can also become plus 2. It can also become plus 2. So it will become 3, 4 and it will become 5. So our target is achieved. So in this way, our uh, start is equal to 3 and is equal to 3 and is equal to 3. 3 target is achieved. So if we do start is equal to mid plus 1, that is start will be equal to 4 and is equal to 3. So start is greater than end. It will come out as a loop. So answer is equal to 3. This was the binary search approach. So let's discuss the code. So now, now comes the intuition behind uh, why we took the end as maximum element plus k. Let's take w is equals to 3, a is equals to 3, 3, 3 and 3. So target 1 can be achieved, target 2 can be achieved, target 3, these are already achieved without any operation, now required 4. Now if we require to increment it by 4, this will be plus 1. So since w is equal to 3, we can also increment by plus 1, also increment plus 1. 3 consecutive, so 4, 4, 4. So here it will become 4, 4, so target 4 is also achieved. Now we'll check 5, for 5 it will require plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Uh, since it will be plus 2, 3 were required. Since we can take three sub arrays, three length sub array, so it will become plus two. Five, five, five can be done. Uh, so similarly, six, six, six can be done. So at most, what we can get? Maximum element three plus three, which is equal to six. So end can be at max, maximum. And start is already equal to one because AI is initially at minimum equal to one. So that is the intuition behind the taking the end as maximum plus k. So let's discuss the code. So I have taken the short form has defined LL long long int. Now what I will do? Uh, 
first i will take maxim element of the whole array so initially start is equals to 1 and is equals to maximum element plus k as a proof of intuition now initially answer let's initialize it as minus 1 initial so while start is less than is equals to 1 as we do in my research mid is equals to start plus n by 2 so we can take it ll now we check if we can let's consider mid as target can we reach the target that is equal to mid in the given operation if we can let's store this as answer and let's uh, since uh, target can be achieved so we can make start is equal to mid plus one why because uh, something like Since uh, at minimum three operations are taken, let's say three operations are taken. So two, one are also allowed. Uh, we can achieve target since at minimum, let's say three target is achieved. So two target can also be achieved, one target can also be achieved. So let's check for four. That's why we are doing start is equals to mid plus one. Else end is equals to mid minus one. Now next, and then we will return. Now time to write the check function whether target can be achieved or now, what is a check function? In check function, we have passed the four parameter int uh, mid vector int ampersand array and int w int t. So, what we are doing, we have to count the number of operations required. Initially, operation is equal to zero. So, let's see the array sizes n is equal to a dot size. Now, vector int, let's make a prefix array. As I've told why we're making the prefix array, so as to store the incremented count at every index. Um, this is something that you have read in finding the prefix sum in the given range. So i is equal to zero, i less than i plus plus. If i is not is equal to zero, prefix i plus is equal to prefix minus one because at zero there we can't do this. That's why I've taken i not is equal to zero. Now Initially, current is equal to prefix of i. Uh, if ai plus current is less than mid, that means our target is smaller. So we can say operations plus is equal to mid minus ai minus current. Why? Because a uh, prefix is already added. Let's say my flower was already incremented by two, and now I am I want one more height. So what I will do? I will add it by one more. Now. So these are number of operation that is already increased already increase height of flare then the original height of flare so whatever we want to increment mid minus a minus current is the operations prefix of i plus is equals to that is number of operation we have incremented so if i plus w is less than n so if i plus w is less than n what will we do? Prefix of i plus w minus is equals to mid minus a minus. Uh, now we will return. Check whether operations are less than is equals to k. So we will check and if they are if they are not exceeding the operation, that is true. Otherwise, we will return false. So let's check whether it is working fine. Yes, it is totally working fine. So one question that might arise, like uh, why I'm taking current is equal to prefix of i. So current is equal to prefix of i because prefix of i will be changed here that I want to use here. So that's why I've already stored in a different variable. So that was a question. Yes, it was some question which is based on the past experiences. And uh, thank you. Have a nice day.